What up world, it's your boy Ken and Corey, and today I'm super excited, not only because I'll be by the water today here in Galveston Island, but I wanna show you guys something really cool. I found a power ship, and we're about to get on it and look around and show you guys that there are real pirate ships still in existence here in Houston, Texas. Let's go ahead and see what they have to offer. What's up, world? Support Ken and Corey, man. And today I want to share with you something that's special to me because it's something I've been really wanting to do and go see with my own eyes. And I finally got a chance to go out and see it. And that was, I got to finally be on a sailboat for the first time. And I don't know if you guys know it, but I'm really into like pirates and like being at sea and seeing the ocean and just water in general. So when I finally found out that Galveston had a tall ship from 1877 that still works to this day it's called the Alyssa. i had to find some time to go see it and i finally did now in order to get on the Alyssa, it's about ten dollars at the entry area it's kind of like right off of like the seawall in galveston actually on the other side of the island um where all the like docking and stuff for like people who have private yachts all right you can pay ten dollars to get in you walk kind of like through like a little entry side alleyway to get to the ship where it's docked at and then you cross like a small little bridge, like a, I guess a little walkway to get from the dock to the actual ship. And as soon as you cross the little bridge, you feel like you're hit from a blast from the past because it's like it's all of a sudden 1877 or 1878. There were so many like fasteners and ropes and people working on the ship. It's so kind of weird right now because there's like a lot of workers on the boat actually fixing the boat while I'm just walking around and like looking at it. Um, but the nostalgia feeling that I have right now while actually being on a real pirate ship, well, I'm calling it a pirate ship, but it's just like an old sailboat that's been around since like the 1800s. But yeah, this shit is really dope. I can't imagine, I can only imagine what it's like to actually be out in the open ocean on a sailboat. So after walking around, I started to realize there were some pretty cool things. There's these little panels that kind of give you like a brief history of different things on the ship and what they mean and people who were there before you. The, the top and below deck is fully accessible, even though there are a few areas that are roped off only for just the crew. And I think it's mainly for like safety reasons for as well. But as far as like, if you wanna like touch the steering wheel or actually go down and see the actual areas that the crew stayed in or see the captain's quarters, all that's fully accessible. And you're not rushed. There's like no time limit. No one's like telling you to hurry and get off the boat or anything like that. I fully walked around and just completely just wandered around the entire vessel and just I had my fair share of checking it out. I would say probably my favorite area of the ship was the steering wheel or I don't know what the official name for it, but the thing that steers the boat, it just kind of gives you that feeling of like, feeling like you're in Pirates of Caribbean or something like that. I had to touch the wheel just to, just to know I was there so I can have the memory of how it feels. And while you're on the boat, you're surrounded by Galveston's port. There's a bunch of restaurants all around you, so if you feel like you're getting hungry, you can directly get off the boat and go straight to another area to eat. Another area of the ship that I thought was pretty cool was the captain's quarters. I really liked how they had like these laminated pieces of paper and things that you would think a cabin would use back in those days, like a compass and all kinds of stuff to navigate. And also like a desk to read his orders and stuff like that, or just have meetings. I did notice that the captain's quarters was a little bit bigger than the normal crew quarters. And I totally understand it. I mean, it's the captain. But yeah, all together, man, I had a great time checking out the Alyssa. This only makes me further want to check out more ships like this and just discover more parts of Texas. I've been going to Galveston my whole life. I'm 33 years old and I never even knew that this ship was there. So if you guys have never checked out the Alyssa or if you guys want to get on a sailboat in Galveston, go check out the Alyssa. It's really dope. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you guys for watching this.